Thank you, Christoph. Thanks for the kind uh, introduction. And thanks uh, to the organizers for, for having me here. And thanks for the audience. I guess I'm in between the banquet and uh, now, right? Uh, so, um, so what I'm going to talk about here is um, basically two different pieces. So I will talk about some work we have been doing on, on uh, truck platooning vehicle automation for truck for quite some time. So I will cover a little bit about that. And then the second part will be more modern stuff, I say, a consequence of that work that come into now doing traffic control and something on machine learning and distributed control and, and, and so on. So I want to emphasize here that this, some of this work has been going on for a long time. Many PhD students and others have been involved. We have projects supported by, by many different funding agencies. A lot of the experiments has been done together with Scania, so they are very important. We have also projects with Volvo, the competitor, and, and, and so on. So credits to those who, who made the work. This we talked about uh, yesterday, so maybe I don't have to repeat it, but you saw my, my argument that we should pay more, more uh, attention to goods uh, and, and how we do that efficiently. But let's start with this movie that maybe some of you have seen before, excuse me in that case. Let's say we are in Germany, uh, four different cities there, and there are transport going on on the autobahn between these cities. And let's say that this transport is overlapping some segment there in time and space. Then, of course, if we coordinate that, we would be able to go in a road train like this, right? And if we would know where transport is going across Europe, we could coordinate that and try to optimize the amount of such road trains or platoons that we are creating. So this is some really old experiments down done uh, down in, in, uh, in the test track outside Barcelona there, but it gives you the idea if you're not familiar with the platooning. So this is what most truck manufacturers can do today. So you go automatically, you, you're in a close distance between the trucks here, so there is a truck driver in every, in every uh, truck, but he is not regulating the distance, this is happening automatically and you communicate between the, the tracks in order to do that. But that's, of course, not enough. If you should deploy this in reality, you need to be able to create platoons, form platoons, like what was happening right now. So you, you automatically form a, a platoon of three tracks in this case. Of course, in reality, it will not be empty like that. There will be cars.